In today's video, we're going to be looking at Dewpoint's FICA requirements. What you need to become a wealth engineer and a product owner at Dewpoint, how to upload them into our system, both at application stage and later on once you are already a wealth engineer or product owner. To start with, it's important for you to understand what's required in order for you to be a wealth engineer with us. Like everywhere that you go to these days, we need a proof of your identity before we can process an application form with you. This can be a number of things. Your ID document, your passport, or any other document that has your name and ID or passport number on it. What's also important to note is that proof of residency, which is also a requirement under the current FICA regulation, does not need to be submitted to us at the point of application. You can submit it to us at a later point through our app or through our client service team. So in order to complete the application form, all you're going to need on hand at that point is your proof of identity. At Dewpoint, we offer you a number of ways of uploading your documentation to us. When you're completing the application form, you will see, as we will work through in a few minutes, the ability for you to simply upload it from your phone. Now, depending on your phone, both the age of your phone and what operating system it's using, we call that the OS, may determine how you upload your document to us. Some documents you will need to take a photo of or scan them first, put them into the memory of your phone, and then when you complete the application form, you will upload from the gallery or file folder on your phone. However, some more modern phones with more modern operating systems on them will allow you to simply take a photo right there and then of your identity document. So simply work through the application form and see which one works best for you. Alternatively, if you are struggling, you can simply contact our client service team at info at or on 010 4500 and ask them to assist you. Generally, you'll simply be able to email them the documents and they'll upload it into your profile in our system. We can assure you, of course, that all of your personal information will be kept private and secure to the best of our ability. In terms of the FICA regulation in South Africa these days, we are required to obtain this documentation from you, as are many other businesses in South Africa. But please rest assured, we will keep it as safe as is possible. Understanding what documents you can upload to us will help speed the process up as well. As I mentioned earlier, your proof of identity is fundamentally a document that's got your name and your ID or passport number on it preferably with a photo of yourself as well. Because our products are relatively low risk, we have a fair bit of flexibility in this regard. And so find a document that's got these details on and it'll be acceptable for your proof of ID. With regard to proof of residence, again, we give you a number of choices. We require any documentation you have that has your name on it and your regular place of residency on it. In other words, the address where you regularly live. We give you a third option at Dewpoint as well, where one of our contracted wealth engineers, the individual who's most likely to have introduced you to this business, can actually physically visit your premises and sign in the application form that they've seen it and they've seen that you live there. This also is an acceptable form of proof of residence in our system. All right. So let's take a look now at the application form for those of you who are new wealth engineers signing up for the first time. And let's work through the pages that are required for you to become a wealth engineer or product owner with us. Start a new application as usual. This will open up into our protection of personal information page. Read through it, adjust it accordingly and press next. In order for us to process our know your customer details in terms of the FICA regulation, we do need you now to insert your personal details for us to continue. This will then open up the FICA pages. These are the pages where we get to know you a bit better. Read through again the points on the page and make sure you answer them accurately for yourself. Important to note is the source of funds. Simply push the down arrow and select where you get your income from each month. For most, it will simply be salary. 
If you do select anything else, please put in the other box where that income comes from. Once completed, press next. You will see now that in order to progress through the application form, you must supply us with your proof of identity. But again, it can be any document that has your name and your ID or passport number on it, preferably including your face. Now here you have the option to select. When you push select, you can see, as we discussed earlier, that you can take a photo or a file directly from your phone. For older phones, this will be the only option available to you. And so make sure you've taken the photo of the document or stored the file on your phone before you start the application form. Now you'll be able to select where you want to take it from and choose the document that you want. Alternatively, with more modern phones, you can simply say, take photo. And this will turn on the camera and you can now take a picture of the document and upload it into the system. Soon as you've uploaded it, you will then be able to push next. On some phones, and depending on your operating system or OS again, the page will indicate to you that your document has been uploaded. For those that don't, once you've uploaded the document, simply push next and it'll take you through to the next page. The next page is your proof of address. Your proof of address, as I've said to you before, is not required at application stage and therefore you can skip it. However, you will be required to provide us with your proof of address shortly after completing the application form. So the best way is to simply do it now. Again, if you push the select button, you'll have the choice of uploading it from your phone or taking a photo and putting it in. However, if you happen to be with your lead wealth engineer and you're close enough to your regular residence, you can select the Introducer Wealth Engineer Verification Step. This allows your lead wealth engineer to physically verify that he or she has visited your regular place of residence and can attest to you living there. In order to do this, you select the toggle and press Next. Having done that, now the lead wealth engineer verification page comes up. You will see the lead wealth engineer's name and W number will appear there as well as the physical address of where he's verifying. So in other words, your regular home. And it will say who he's trying to verify it for. All you need to do as the lead wealth engineer now is tell us where you've signed it at. Generally, the suburb is sufficient to complete this. On what day, in this particular case, our 4th of February and for which month. You then click sign here and you have the ability to sign. Click submit. You have now signed that you have verified the regular residence of this new wealth engineer. Select submit and your proof of identity is complete. And now you simply complete the rest of the application form as you normally would. If you're an existing wealth engineer or product owner of ours and wish to upload any outstanding FICA documents to us, it's pretty simple. You've got two choices. Firstly, you can open your app app, log in and press the menu button at the top. You will see under your My Products section, a FICA menu. Press the across arrow and it will give you the option now to upload any documents that are outstanding. Simply select the Select Document button and you'll be given your three choices on more modern phones and on older phones, only the option to upload from the library or choosing a file. Take your photo or upload your file at this point and your FICA documentation will now be up to date with us. If you do this on our website, the process will be the same. Log in, select your My Account, select FICA and upload the document that is missing from your computer. With regards to completing the application form on a computer, the process is almost identical. The only difference is that you obviously can't take a photo while in the application form, but you need to simply upload from the folder where you have saved your proof of ID and residence. Let's take a look at that. Once you've reached the proof of identity page, when you select the upload file, you'll notice that you don't get the option to take a photo. It simply takes you to your PC's hard drive. Find the file and select open. This will then upload the file into our system and you can select next. The same applies for proof of residence. 
Completing our application form and completing the FICA requirements within our application form should be pretty easy now that you've seen that process. If you do, however, have any questions, remember our client service team are always there to assist you, even to the point that you can send them your documents and they'll upload them for you. Contact them on info at or on 010 020 4500.